there. Welcome to Confessions of an Everyday Cook. I'm Morgan. So today I wanted to make some mac and cheese and my absolute favorite mac and cheese is from Panera. So I'm going to show you my copycat recipe of Panera Bread's mac and cheese. All right, let's grab our stuff and let's get started. thing about mac and cheese is the cheese. You want to make sure that you have some extra sharp white cheddar cheese and then slices of white American cheese. And all we're going to do for prep is we're going to cut these into little slices. That way it has a little bit of an easier time melting. I'm just going to cut it in little cubes here. I really like Panera's mac and cheese is because it has this slight tartness to it that I just think is so different in comparison to like box mac and cheese. Also, it's just super creamy. It's super cheesy. It's like me. I'm so cheesy. Ask my husband. And so we have about eight ounces of the extra sharp cheese. I'm going to stick this in a little bowl. And for the sliced white American cheese, you want to use about six to eight slices. Again, just nice little cubes. And that's pretty much it for prep. I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the stove and show you how to make the cheese sauce. Okay, so I'm over here on the stove. I already have my macaroni noodles going. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a separate pot here. I'm gonna have it on medium heat. And we're gonna add four tablespoons of butter. So this is a half a stick of butter. All right, and we're gonna let this sit here and melt for a little bit. While that's melting, I wanna talk about the macaroni noodles. I have about two cups of macaroni noodles here. And we want to cook them just until they're al dente, so they got a little bit of a bite to them. Just follow the instructions on your package. For me, it's about nine minutes till those are done. So it's very important when you're boiling pasta to salt the pasta water because this adds flavor to the noodles. As my mom and dad would say, we assault them. <laughs> just kidding. Just put salt in the water, okay? Don't body slam it. All right, butter is pretty much melted. It's bubbling up real nicely. We're going to add a quarter cup of flour. And we want to whisk this really well and let the flour cook for about a minute or two. Get this nice and smooth. So we want to cook down the flour a little bit. That way we're kind of cutting out that raw flour taste. So only about a minute. And you want to stir it constantly so you're not, it's not going to burn. So the mixture is starting to brown a little bit. It has a slight nutty smell to it, so we know that it's good to go. We're going to add two and a half cups of milk. Just slowly stir this in a little bit at a time. And something that I'll do sometimes is I'll add two cups of just regular milk and then half a cup of heavy cream. However, I just don't have any on hand right now. We're going to let this thicken up. It's probably going to take about three to five minutes. And just keep an eye on it, make sure that you're stirring it. In the meantime, my pasta's done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain it. I'll be back. And while this is thickening up, I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic, and also an eighth of a teaspoon of white ground pepper. This is thickening up very nicely, now it's starting to bubble. What we're going to do is turn the heat off, remove it from the heat, we're going to mix in the cheese that we cut earlier and we just want this to get it until it's nice and smooth and melted. I'll switch over to a different utensil. Alright, now we're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of Dijon and then this is optional, however I just like the heat that this adds. Just one or two shakes of Frank's hot sauce. Let this continue to melt. Clean up my mirrors. The cheese is all melted. I have here the pasta that we cooked. I just have a tablespoon of butter in here. That way it wasn't going to stick to the bottom. And we're going to slowly add in our cheese. Get all that deliciousness in there. And then at the end, as always, make sure to season to taste. Mmm. It's pretty dang perfect. How do I always end up with all this flour on me? I didn't even use that much. Literally one time my mom texted me after I posted a video and she's like, that's 
That's nice, hon. Wash your apron. Moms be momming even when you're an adult, guys. All right, let's give this a taste. So just to be extra, I sprinkled some... Fryer? Stop it. Stop it, Fryer. when the demons in your kitchen won't stop making noise and they're trying to make a video. So just to be extra, I put some chopped parsley and a little bit of Parmesan on here. Mmm. It's all the best things in the world. Carbs and cheese. I just love how creamy it is and it has just that slight tartness to it that just makes it taste more elegant. Beautiful salt content. Obviously super cheesy. It's a masterpiece. Alrighty gang. Thank you guys so much for joining me. As always make sure to like and subscribe as well as turn on the notifications. That way you're not going to miss a single episode. Make sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Confessions of an Everyday Cook. See you next time. Bye!